day. It is. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do, guys? What deal are we with. with? Really Welcome to the nine. We're happy you're with us. Mario Lewis here. Tell oh, those shoes are. Thank you. Hygiene, Thank huh? you. Yes, yes, yes. Mine those too, right? Shoes I need. Jazz things up a little bit. Uh -huh. Look at you, Derek Kevra. I'm Dean <laughs> Santafonte. I'm glad you're with us. We have a good couple of hours coming your way. We got food. We got fun. Yes. Facts. Family, family, mm. and um, friendship, Fr yeah, friends, yeah. fellowship, football, yeah, football, Faith. fronds, fronds. Oh yeah, that from yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys, I did uh, issue a challenge yesterday. I don't know if anybody at home, please chime in. Hashtag the nine, trying to walk 10,000 steps every day in April. So uh, I found myself in a situation. Yeah. At nine o'clock last night, I, did, I had 7,000 steps. Oh, that's a lot. So <laughs> to try I to started fit in. marching hmm. in the kitchen. Yeah. It registers that? Yeah. I didn't know it did. Yeah. Okay. It, it, you know, I was marching in place. Arms pumping. Arms pumping like a fool. Anyway, there's my total. I got up to 10,000. Nice. The second I looked down and saw that, I said, I'm done. This was about 9, four, there you see the time, 9.44 p.m. <laughs> Uh, look at this one, though. I went on a walk. You Love, sure did. Yeah, had a great day. 14,516 steps yesterday. You really? are winning, Elle, and your graphic even looks better than mine. Mm. Now, today's going to be tough because I've got more after work to do today. I don't yeah. have time for the old uh, walk around the lake. Plus, the weather's not really conducive. It's all rainy. That's what happened to me. To I was going to go for a walk uh, after dinner. Yeah. And it was pouring rain. I mean, Same. pouring. Did I have so, Derek, yeah, where's oh, yeah, your um, total? We didn't see it. Well, I, I, I thought this was an April Fool's Day joke by you. I did not oh. believe we were truly doing it. And so now that we're at April 2nd, and I learned that the, you're being honest, yeah. uh, that I will do it from here on out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Starting today. I mean, you're not gonna you do can it. only get in a few thousand steps. Uh, I did we download. We don't lock you for being the, what would we call it? We don't call it the loser of the group. I was going to say big fat loser. Yeah, like the lesser uh, stepper. <laughs> the inferior. <laughs> yes. I downloaded the app. I downloaded the My phone doesn't come. Man. I got the old the, yeah. the Google phone. Oh, 10,000 steps. <laughs> I got, look at what I got. 460. Is this today? Yeah. Where are we at okay. today? I just started. I just downloaded it. Okay. Anyway, remember, the reason we're uh, walking is because most experts will tell you if you, if you are capable of walking, um, it is one of the best exercises. And then, especially if you pick up the pace, you add a little incline, maybe you're adding a weighted vest. So maybe we'll get into some of that stuff throughout the month. I just wanted to do it because you put the challenge out there and I love winning. Yeah. I just like being the best at stuff. It makes so me day feel one, good. You're the winner. Yeah, we'll see how it goes the rest of the well, week because I'm, what I'm not going to do is get my hair wet. So <laughs> well, I wasn't going to bring <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. You might win the rest of the week. Okay. I wasn't going to bring it up, but you said it. Yeah. Weighted vest, Ms. Mm -hmm. Santafonte? Mm -hmm. Not only were you marching in your kitchen, yeah, you were marching with your kitchen in a weighted vest. I put on my husband's weighted vest. Yeah. Now, I did get uh, a weighted hula hoop. Doesn't yeah. really apply to this, but these That's weighted fun. situations are very fun. Yeah. Well, they can be. I don't know how fun a weighted vest is. But Wrap yourself in that weighted I got a blanket. weighted hula hoop Ooh. during pandemic. Is yeah. that something we were doing pan during pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> Did you? So does it work? Was that a waste of money? I just I got know. it. It is. It, it's fun and it um, adds a little challenge. Yeah. Why, why does one get a weighted hula hoop? <laughs> El. Dina? <laughs> well, I had a, I have a daughter who wanted one, and it was pandemic, and we're all sitting in this house looking at each other, and we thought, okay. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to, you know, it's more core engagement. Yeah. Well, oh. I don't know. It's we've had, we've There's classes. We've had them here, actually. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'll, you know what? I'll bring it tomorrow. No. Are you not I'll a good hula hooper? hooper? I'm out on the hula Are you hoops. not a good hula hooper? I'm a terrible hula hooper. Oh, Why? We're definitely bringing our hula hoops. We're definitely hoops. doing this. It's day. very embarrassing. You can't Wait, hula hoop? I cannot hula hoop. Do it a day when I'm here. When so. are you back? Not till next month? Friday. Okay. We'll do it. I'll bring you it. You guys I'll haven't have seen me off. look like a dummy enough on television. Have you we seen any of the it. Weather Boys we segments? It's just all me. A quick story for you guys. I was talking to a friend yesterday. Now, this friend is a grandpa. He's babysitting his grandson over the weekend. He said when his daughter dropped off the child, mm. the kid was sick. Hmm. That made grandpa sick. Mm. Grandpa's supposed to go on vacation this week, 
and he is now doing so with a cold. So here is the question I propose to you and the viewers out there. If you are a parent of a sick child, is it okay to drop off that sick child with the grandparents in order to keep your plans, or do you have to cancel your plans and keep your sick child home with you? Interesting. I, I mean, I don't want to follow up your question with a million questions. Lee Thomas accuses um, he does women and of doing yeah. that. <laughs> but, but there are a lot of <laughs> but. Uh, we have follow-up questions. We How do. sick is the child? It's a cold? Runny nose, cough. Yes, cold. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's what grandparents are for. Grandparents okay. have survived on this earth for 70, 80 years. They can handle a cold. Okay, I, f I will follow up your question with a question back. If the grandparents have an upcoming vacation, do they have the right to say, no, thank you? Well, yeah, they definitely have the right. Mm. But then you, get, then you, you don't get, you get your grandparent card taken away. So you're saying that you draw the line <laughs> at fever. You'll never see that child again. <laughs> yeah, fever. No, fever, the kid has to stay home. Take your phone out, open up that uh, camera app, put it in front of the QR code here, mm. and vote yes or no. Votes are mm. coming in. Most people say, no, it's not okay. Is it okay? Uh, no. Yeah, no. Mm. I mean, I, I, I do I think, think fine. <laughs> I do think we're in a different day and age now, and I don't want to make it too, too serious. I know you said just the sniffles and so-and-so, mm -hmm. but I think post-COVID, yeah. it, it just showed us how things affect people differently. So uh, you do not want to give know. grandma and grandpa COVID, right? And I know that's right. not that's, that's sure. not necessarily the question here. The spirit kids of the are question. always sniffly, though. Yeah, I mean they're always I'll, these school age kids, like they're never fully if, healthy. If I was never allowed to drop off my kids with grandma and grandpa because they had a runny nose, yeah, I would never drop off my kids. <laughs> yeah, they always yeah. have a runny nose. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I, so but what I, do you I think yes, about okay. the vacation? Yeah, that, see, that's the wild card, is if they said we're leaving to go on a fill-in-the-blank, a cruise in four days, they we don't want to get sick. They can't a cruise with some sniffles? Well, right, but you can, but do you want to? Believe me, if you didn't have them for the cruise, you'd get them on the cruise. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. With 50, do you want the sniffles from people? family or you want to get the sniffles from strangers? <laughs> right. People you don't even know and love. Right. <laughs> mm? uh, let's see. No, final answer. I don't think we move the needle much. No, I, I said no. I, I don't want I, it. I'm gonna get. Well, I'm gonna vote yes. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna vote yes too. But this is always a. Just go to the website. Let's see. Just go. I'm gonna to get the it website. on this phone. This. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, we like to do it on the phone. Then zoom the camera in. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Don't, don't take it down. Don't yeah, take it down. She's gotta get her vote Hold up. Hold on. I gotta get we the really camera. We really need to. Yeah, because we are losing big You're time. You're two low votes. I'm gonna sway to 90 percent, honey. I can't. I don't think I can zoom in far enough. It's not gonna happen. Sorry. Sorry, keep y'all sick kids at home. Okay? <laughs> Petri dish would you children. Cancel, would you want to cancel your vacation? Nobody's canceling because of a cold. <laughs> okay. No, it's just a comfort Get thing. the question out. Right. Nobody's canceling the trip. Uh, there is more than one way to let you know that rain is imminent. Mm. Radar watching pressure lower. What? Did I read that right? Yeah. It sounded funny, but... It did. <laughs> So there's a lot of dot, dot, dots. Radar watching. Radar watching pressure lower. Yeah? Even. <laughs> you got it. I think it's a comma. Like, do you radar, you look at the radar. Okay, you look I'm at trying the, to navigate the pressure. The pressure, 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 pressure coming watching down. pressure clouds. lower. Even looking at clouds. But have you ever stepped outside and you just knew it was going to rain because the way it smelled outside? Mm. Mm. You wouldn't be alone. Scientists say rain does have a smell to it for a few different reasons. First is from soil dwelling bacteria that secrete secrete what? Geo You got it. I don't Go ahead. I don't like it. <laughs> Cause I wanna say something else. Yeah, it looks like a funny word there. Derek Geosman. Why wouldn't you just say it? Because I didn't want to interrupt. When producing spores, raindrops help release this earthly, musty smell chemical into the air. The second possible cause is plants. Plants secrete oils during dry periods. Woo! Then rain causes compounds to be released from those oils oh. that can smell. What's it smell like? What's that called? <laughs> I mm -hmm. hate it here. <laughs> I mean, what does it, it smell like, Derek? Like this script. Petri <laughs> Oh. All right. <laughs> so what are, we, what are we saying? You can smell it when it's going to rain. Yes, there's a I smell. If people say smells like rain, there mm -hmm. is an actual smell that comes out. Okay. Soil, water, plants, all of it works together. You can smell 
when rain is coming or when when it has rain. I mean, there nature, is a distinct that's, smell. It is fascinating, actually. I feel this way though because my knee locks up when it's going to rain, and I can be inside the house, and I'm like, oh. It's going to rain soon, and guess what? I'll be doggone. It rains mm. not too long after that. And so I have a weather knee. Do you ever call Derek and tell him to put in the forecast? He doesn't <laughs> believe my weather knee situation. Well, because you say it every day. So no, naturally, I don't. you're going to get That's it right. Not true. A broken clock's right twice a day, Derek, too. Derek, that is true. so unfair. <laughs> that is not the truth, and you know it. When it's going to rain, my weather knee acts up, and I tell you about it, and then it's going to rain. I do love that you call it the weather knee. Yeah. Like, I need to be in the weather beast out there with y'all going this way go this way the storm is over here she would be a, a, a quite an accurate meteorologist if that's what you did because yeah. you just be like be like you want to look at the radar you want to look at weather models you're like nope, nope I don't need to do any of that it. got my trusty weather yeah, knee. Knee. <laughs> <laughs> got my handy Marielle dandy and weather granddad knee. can talk about their right. bursitis does and... anybody else have a weather knee out weather there pit. maybe a weather elbow uh, hashtag the nine, so these people don't think I'm crazy. No, you're not crazy. When air pressure drops yes. or changes, it changes the pressure in your fluids. Oh, the preacher chore. <laughs> right, the GMO scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's something interesting. More young adults are opting for virtual first dates. They don't want to meet in person. They're scared. According to a survey by the dating app Wingman, 65% hey. of singles, now we're talking about kids ages 18 to 27, young adults, So they would take the virtual option. See, look at that fella. Hi, looks, I'm on my date. Nice. Just looking at the phone. They say it's cheaper, too. Oh. And you can have a bunch of dates in one night. Hello. I Ooh, mean, just floozy. play the field. Many of them also feel intimidated by face-to-face -face contact. They say if it gets too awkward, they can cut the small talk and just click hang up. I mean, come on. I feel intimidated is, to meet face to face. I mean, what are we doing here? Uh, this is uh You've got to meet sad, in person. Sad statement. How have we gotten to a point where we are too scared to meet people? Yeah, but you want to date them eventually. Yeah, eventually you're going to have to meet them. Yeah. Like that that interaction will happen at some point. You would think. Like aren't we supposed to do things that make us feel uncomfortable from time to time? Isn't that well, how we Well, we have grow? lost our way. We want a real soft landing. At every turn. How do we feel about what if this is not a date? What if it's a pre-date and it's just the first conversation people want to have on FaceTime? Yeah, I mean, and that's then fine, after right? that, you have to right like, or are we talking three and four different dates? Like you're FaceTiming somebody for uh, two weeks before you meet. That's they make it sound like this is the date. Like, hmm. hey, do you want to get together on Zoom and we'll each have our uh, glass of wine or a cup of coffee? And that'll be our date. You would want to cultivate the image that the other person sees of you. But aren't you doing that anyways with your dating profile? I mean, the pictures that you upload, that is you cultivating how they're going to see you for the first time. Yeah. I, I think the bigger thing is they just want to be able to get away quick if they don't like it. If they get uncomfortable, they just hang up the phone and it's over. I, I don't like say, that. I feel like dating would be awful for me as someone who hasn't done it in like 30 years. So I think it... <laughs> streets are cold, girl. I know. That's the what streets I'm saying. are I mean, cold. You show up at a restaurant and you're trying to... You don't want to... You want to look cute and sexy, maybe, but not too cute and sexy. Right, and right. It's a whole, uh, that balancing act would be very... And then what do you talk about? Um, but... That's the only way you're going to be able to make real human connection, yes. right? Yeah. 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 Plus, sometimes when I FaceTime the kids, I think I'm looking, you know, okay, late afternoon. I hold up that camera. <laughs> I'm like, who is that? Who is this person? It's you're awful. Like, this is not how I look. <laughs> I walk around the house trying to find it. <laughs> Let me get my life. Different angles. Mm. Because sometimes that's, uh, you'd be better off, in other words, sometimes in person is often maybe better. In, in low light. Oh, I got it. Like a dimly lit restaurant. I got a way to take <laughs> this shower. conversation, evolve it even. What if it's VR and you're both wearing goggles? Ooh. And Is that you, okay? That's getting a little weird, Derek. No, but think of it. Yeah, Derek, right. you're weirdo. Oh, oh, pick your weird dating idea. That I'm okay with. I'm okay with, <laughs> I'm okay with the and VR your Geo date. Smin. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> nine. Let us know what's on your mind. Um, any of it. Do you want to, uh, are you walking steps? Do you have a funny knee? And uh, <laughs> It's a weather knee.